Well done on choosing your new kookaburra bat. Before you go out and play, let me show you a few tips that the kookaburra team has given me on how to care for your bat. Firstly, the kookaburra bat is made of a special timber called English willow. Like a lot of timbers, it needs oiling. Raw linseed oil is perfect for oiling a kookaburra bat. The main purpose of oiling is to maintain moisture levels within the blade, which heavily reduces the chance of cracking and splitting. Remember to apply the oil in light coats and ensure you don't stand the bat in oil or in an upright position after oiling. Two or three coats should be sufficient and allow for each coat to dry before applying the next. It is best to simply wipe the bat down with a clean cloth once the oil is dry. To prepare your kookaburra bat for even the hardest hits, we strongly recommend that you knock it in before play. Knocking in is where the fibres of the willow in the face and edges of your bat are compressed together. The increased density then forms a barrier to protect the bat against the impact of the ball. Effective knocking in will significantly improve the performance and increase the lifespan of your bat, allowing you to hit more runs for longer. When knocking in, it is best to use a kookaburra bat mallet. But if you do not have one of those, an old kookaburra cricket ball is perfect. The bat should be repeatedly struck in all areas where you would normally expect the ball to hit. Remember to slowly increase force as you go. This will take a while, so be patient. Particular attention should be given to the edges. Although the edges or toe should not be struck directly at right angles, as this can cause damage to the bat. You'll need to give the bat about six hours of knocking in. Once knocked in, the next step is to start hitting short catches with an old kookaburra cricket ball for around one hour. However, if the seam marks the blade, you may have to take a step back and knock it in some more. Your bat should now be just about ready to use in matches. However, try to avoid using a new ball for a couple of weeks. So get out there, play hard, and above all else, enjoy your cricket with kookaburra.